morning guys welcome to today Hello. i was just laughing my head off because molly was peeing and she had <laughs> she had one of her pylons so she's peeing and she has a pylon hanging out of her mouth and i was just laughing because you guys know when you're a woman you have to multitask and if that means doing stuff while you pee then that's what you gotta do <laughs> oh she's so funny where are you she's in the arena I just hear Sophie calling me. And I hear Ma up. Wow, what happened here? <laughs> he just does things and doesn't even tell us. Wow, fancy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'd like to get this area cleaned up too, actually. <laughs> I mean, there's a big hill of dirt because when we before we moved we had to get uh water brought down to the barn no because you were calling me i was worried about you and penny was saying feed me <laughs> but gabby beat beat us she did it good job gabby so uh, yesterday you guys saw that i got to spend like mother's day doing yard work which is what my favorite thing to do is and then well don't you <laughs> Sylvia's gonna try and beat me to my new muck bucket. I'm gonna throw that one out. You were gonna take the tape off the poles. So Sylvia's got another pole done. Wow, we are behind in the pole department. Uh oh, you see the problem? What are you gonna do? What do you mean? You have blank pole. Yeah, I'm gonna paint that white. Oh. I also want to take fly mass today, and I think this is like our best quality one. It's such a good fly mass, but it's not huge. It's from, I don't know, Guardsman? But no, it's from Noble, from Noble Outfitter. How's your pole, Gabby? It's all the stuff I want to take today. Come here. I show you don't, don't paint with my coat on. She's wearing my coat. Look at all these little droplets. Oh. Do you want to know what those are? Paint? Dead bugs. Those are dead bugs? Yeah, well that's paint. But Yeah, they get all over. Yeah. Oh. See look this bug right there. Oh. That's the that's paint. murder. They fly into the wet paint and then they just get stuck there. Oh my pen. Gabby's this is how her head all <laughs> the paint. She does <laughs> that. Yeah. Also Molly got paint because she goes underneath the poles. Gabby's more of a perfectionist. She likes to keep her poles nice and beautiful. All right, but I think we should move on and do the next poles because well, this is my other right pole. I know, but we have a, we have more poles that we have to paint. I yeah, think we I should. Have two more poles. Added. Do you guys think we should buy more poles? That are already painted. Yes. <laughs> Good point. All right, let's get going. Today we are going to the barn to see our boys. We. I uh, haven't been there since Saturday, so it's only been two days, but we didn't really do anything there on Saturday. We just saw the farrier. Yeah, we are so excited to see the horses and see how much chubbier Chance is. Like, I can usually notice when a horse is losing weight or gaining weight really quickly. I'm super sensitive to that, and I can tell that he's, like, filling in a little. Our vet told us that we need to let him do it himself and give him all that he needs but not try and push it like we don't want to make him gain weight really really fast we want him to go slow and steady and just let him direct it make sure he has everything that he needs is what and that's what we're doing penny just ran outside to get the hay and the ponies were like whoa there's something new which is weird because penny's usually so gracie curious cares. gracie cares she's like hmm i see grass out there bet you i could get out there yeah, what do you see? You yeah. see it? <laughs> Willow's interested too. She's like, I remember this. <laughs> How can we get some grass? She just went over the pole and the tarp all by herself. There's no mud now, it's all dried up. Sam will drag this little part. <laughs> Wahoo, it's summer! It's gonna be so warm today. Penny, you missed it. Come on, come and see. Uh, it's exciting for us, but not exciting for them. This one looks too big. All right, so do you guys remember last year when Sophie didn't want to use this really nice, this is like a heavy duty fly mask on Finn because it wasn't cute. Well, now this year she's changed. Yeah, it's, it's too big for Finn. Finn's a pony. 
But it, it fits small, that one. No, no, not at all. Oh. Finn took every single one. <laughs> yeah, he off. did. Yeah, he definitely did. Okay, so, and then this one also, this, so this one's Noble Outfitters. This is Kensington, and they both are heavy duty. And so now she's gone from cute to quality for her new horse. <laughs> so she's going to take both of those and see which I one fits him. I have a blue fly mask for Finn. I'm going to see if I can find that. I think that one got destroyed. Oh, yeah, those are them. All right. Let's let's take all the ones that we have. So I love these ones. These ones are by Tough One, and they are nice. Oh, that one needs to be sewn yeah, a little bit. Yeah, because he ripped it off his head. Yeah, so they are super cute. This one's too big for him, too. And they're not bad, but this this is kind of flimsy compared to the other ones. But they still are good. They have these dart things here. Let's see the one who looks the cutest all right. thing and fits him. Well, I, yeah, I say we go for quality. All right, bring them all. Shavings again. Also got some Which? more beet pulp. Two bags to help our boy get chubby. All right, oh, there we go. The barn makes up the beet pulp in this bucket here. So it's easy to feed, just enough for the day. Oh, that was hard. It's heavy, I need to get a wagon, Sam. A collapsible wagon to keep in the van. Drop it. Did it rip? All right, there we go. You're ready to ride? We gave you a couple days off. Yeah, maybe I will lunch him today. <laughs> Just to make him extra lazy for me. Do you guys like the color of his halter? Sophie picked it. I actually Can like... Yeah, he's like, that. this is my spot over here. He's getting chubbier. Not let him get this Look at that thinking. little belly. Yeah, he's doing... Belly. You can see it coming. And he's got like... He's starting to get muscles. Some booty muscles, for sure. But I definitely see a little bit of change coming, you guys. Like, look at that. Jiggling. And there's another big booty muscle. I was saying Chino looks lazy. And Gabby said he is chill. Brandon says he's crazy. <laughs> we think he's chill. It's true, though. He has gotten kind of crazy in the fact that, like, He's meaner in the field than he ever was before. And that has been a big issue. We've had to move him around a couple of times. And then also, Finn. <laughs> Same thing. The Chino and Finn got together. And then poof. They got they got mean together. Isn't that crazy though how that happens? It's, it's like, you know how sometimes you're a different person depending on who you hang around with? And that's what it was like with them. Like, Oh, Finn's calling to him. Finn got evicted. Changed to a new field. But Finn and Chino were best friends. Like, they hit it off right from the start. But they can't be together. Because they egg each other on. And then, oh, Finn is freaking out. He's like, there's my friend. That's so sad, actually. But he's, Finn is waiting at the gate. He's staring at Chino. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Oh, I could cry. She doesn't even care about Finn. Poor Finn. That's so sad. He still hasn't taken his eye away. Still staring. Oh my gosh. Anyways, Finn was beating up another horse that just arrived back. He was away for a while. Finn was not nice to him, so they moved Finn, separated them, and things have been doing a lot better. But it's like that in real life, too. Don't you guys feel like... You are who you hang out with. Like, if you're hanging out with people who bring out the best in you, then that's incredible. But if you're hanging out with people that bring out the worst in you, then, then it's time to make a change. Find your own new field, your own new friends. I definitely noticed a difference in Chance's weight. Keep the door closed. Oh, sorry. Um, can you find my new birds? Yeah, how many do you, are both your need? two. How many do you have? I have two. I know, but how many can you find? One. Yeah. I, a few months ago, I found Gabby's knee brace on the bathroom floor for like the millionth time. And I picked it up and I said, Ugh, I'm putting this away. And if she can't find it later. And then it went missing. Yeah. If she can't find it later, that's her own fault because I have this habit. I put things away and then I forget where the heck. Oh, is it in my closet? 
I forget where the heck I, I put it. I don't know why my backpack's full of fidgets. <laughs> she found her backpack full of fidgets in my closet. So anyways, we're gonna lunch Finn. No, we're gonna lunch. We're gonna lunch Chance. He is not a kind of horse that needs lunging. So if he's just uh, using it as a way to bond, as a way to... He's a baby, so he could have energy one day and not energy one day. Yeah, like he's a baby and she's just still waiting for the shoe to drop. So she's doing this to prepare to keep him going strong and steady and to prevent any issues from happening. But so far the shoe has not dropped with him. Way better in light blues and dark blue. You think I like him in dark blue. My friend suggested that we lunge him in his Cat move. Cat move. in his Move. rope halter. I think we're gonna get a rope halter for him that's like <gasps> mine that has like the um, four no. knots. It's so cute. I like him in dark, in bright blue. This is dark blue. Dark blue. I like it. This is light blue. Yeah, I like him in the dark. I like yeah. chestnuts and darks and dark colors. If he's doing what somebody suggested, somebody in our comments suggested, my camera's blurry. Good boy. Someone suggested for her to go through transitions, walk and then trot and then canter transitions. Oh, what about hello here? And he is oh. spicy today. <laughs> and Sophie doesn't even like, Sophie doesn't even get nervous when he has energy. <laughs> Remember when he's listening, leave the rope on, leave the, oh, okay, he was gonna stop. One full circle without stopping, she says. Good boy, wow, look at him stopping. So Sophie's working on, I know it's hard for you guys to see because this, I'm facing the sun, but this is the only safe spot for me. So Sophie's working on keeping the, whip, the lunging whip quiet while he's listening and then also asking waiting for him to respond and then only raising the lunging whip if he doesn't respond that's what she's practicing but i definitely see some weight gain on that boy that was perfect that was such a good transition and i missed it he did so good and then he slows down really well he goes from anything to stop so nicely <laughs> hello How'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two Hope you're fine, ain't got time To do everything you said you would Frames of the past and The memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile and the power I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. go fatty. Now, Let's go fatty Your Body shaming these horses So now it is Chino's turn to go out there and run around like a crazy boy Just joking, Chino does not need lunging Yep, he's gonna roll And then he's just gonna eat grass Thing you didn't brush him yet. Okay. Oh, girls, he says. They say I was broken. How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. Try to be cool. Even wear that shirt you wanted to My friends think I'm lame Since I met you I am not the same Well hello handsome You are such a tall dark handsome man With a big body Do you guys remember when he when we got him and he was really thin? And he just packed on pounds so fast. So we took it super slow with Chino. He's only been off a few days with the shoe situation. But I swear that boy gains weight like a couple days goes by. 
Anyways, uh, she just did a couple of jumps. Tomorrow she's gonna do like a big flat. And then hopefully we'll be back and ready. Also, Sophie had a lunch line lesson, which was so cool. I loved that over poles. That hurt. And he was so good. Gabby's so random. We'll be talking about stuff and then all of a sudden Gabby will be like, yeah, and then talk about something so totally different and random. Well, this Yeah. Like, oh yeah, my daughter died. Yeah, that's cool. I'm a cat and I like everything. Oh my god. I got a cat. Oh my god. I'm a cat too. I'm a cat too. So he got his fly mask on. Did you put a fly mask on Chino? I don't know where it is. Right here, there's a no, couple. These, these, if oh. they couldn't fit him, then they couldn't fit Chino. Oh yeah. All right, let me grab one from the car. During the lesson, I like went like this, and a bee flew down my bra and stung me. I'm like, hmm, that was great. That actually is the least painful sting, bee sting I've ever had. They'll be matching. They'll be in adjoining fields, but they'll be matching. Chino, you're getting orange. I actually do like when they take the nose piece off because it actually gets all snotty and gross, and it's like annoying for the horses. I've seen a couple of comments the last few days about people wondering why we're not putting our horses on the grass. So I'm gonna to explain to you guys. I have this stick and I can't find it. But anyway, you don't need a stick. I'm gonna show you. So basically we have this stick that has all these measurements all the way down. It's like a big yard stick kind of. It's like a cube shaped and it tells you when to put your horses out on grass. And basically it's about eight inches or so, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Uh, that's how tall the grass has to be to go out on for the horses to go out on it, but I'll show you guys But right now You guys can't see but it's still really wet. Oh, you can see look see this is the ground if I push My finger just slides right down in there like it is so soft and so if we put our horses out here already one thing they, they'll just rip up the ground you guys know that if you don't have enough paddock space horses have to just be where they are and then the grass will get ripped up and then you lose all your grass so we don't want that to happen but uh it's spring right now is sometimes known as laminitis season because of how much sugar is in the grass as it's just starting to grow for the season so we follow the rule and we only put our horses out here when the grass is long enough that the sugars are not as high. And Penny could probably handle it, and Gracie could handle it, but I don't know about Willow. And every time our vet comes in the spring to do shots, he's always getting us in trouble because our ponies are always chubby. And he does not like to see a chubby pony. So, so that's why we wait to put our horses out on pasture until the time is right so that we can keep them healthy and not overweight. And that's also why we don't let them graze all day long. We try to manage their weight by feeding them logically so that they're not just eating all the time. But the time is coming and they are going out on grass and I can't wait. I love them when they're out on grass. It's a lot more work to be moving them back and forth, but I think having access to grass is super important for their health. There are things in grass that you can't get in hay vitamins and nutrients. I also wanted to mention that that is why it can be common to find a winter paddock where we live. Come on. A winter paddock is where we keep our horses for the winter. Come on. So that they're not ripping up the grass and ruining all of our hay, creating mud in mud season. It's like a sacrifice paddock. Some people call it that so that we can Always have grass for our horses. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are. Just the way you came. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Don't you know that you're beautiful?